it. I'll reveal your true form. Let's not dilly dally around here. We all know what we're here for. Smash or pass. Persona 5. All romance options ranked. Let's do this. How am I ranking these, you might wonder? Um, it's 95% personal preference and 5% from Joker's POV. And starting at number 10, this is super duper easy for me. God help me with this name. Ichiki Oya. Yeah, I don't like this chick. Zero on my desire meter to romance her. Like absolute zero. Nothing else to say. Number nine, this one might make fans angry because number nine is the doctor, Tay Takemi. Listen, personally, the doctor seems really, um, dominant and uh, that's just not my thing. Great soundtrack though. Number eight, Kawakami. It's just a weird vibe with her being the teacher. It's just a weird vibe. I actually really like her story. I actually really like her character. I really like how she looks. There's just that like huge wall of like, I'm the teacher. If she was literally a student in the class, same as Joker, I feel like it's a big upgrade, but yeah, number eight for now. Number seven, Hifumi. Hifumi is like the neutral on the pH balance scale of my desire. Nothing really positive and nothing really negative. An absolute like grain of rice in my food bowl, if that makes sense. <laughs> Number six, we got our first Phantom Thief member, Haru Okumura. Haru, I will say, doesn't benefit from lack of screen time. Now she does get more in Strikers, but that doesn't really boost her up for me. Haru for me is just the least attractive Phantom member forehead. I think she's arguably the nicest girl on this entire list in terms of like, kindness but she also has those moments where she's like super crazy with an axe is it that i get a shiver of excitement whenever the shadows plead for their lives nor i'd appreciate it if you held off on the homicidal remarks until after you put your weapon down number five futaba oh if futaba wasn't basically joker's sister it really does give me that vibe. I think she's the funniest romance option. And I think everything that she does, hobby-wise, lines up pretty well. But stuck at number five. Number four. Chihaya. If Chihaya wasn't a super astrology person, this would be really high up. She's got the looks. I really liked her story in Persona 5. Even though she did swindle you out of $100,000, she still cracks the top four for me. Pretty impressive. Number three, Kasumi. I think Kasumi, at least, if you're trying to read beneath the lines, I think it's like the game wants you to romance Kasumi, if that makes sense. She has the most one-on-one -on -one actions with Joker, and personally, from my perspective, it's a yes. 
I... I love you. Number two. And Takamaki. Move over, Morgana. She's mine. In the super early days of my Persona playthrough, I was like, yeah, I'll romance Ayan. Uh, until my number one came in. Anne is objectively the most attractive member of this entire list, but I can't save her from being number one. What? Number one, Makoto Nijima. I am ready for the wars beneath the comment sections to begin as I put Makoto at number one. Listen, all I need to say is this. Huh? But you're so toned, Makoto. Right? I actually think Makoto is probably the smartest and has her life most together out of all the people here. And really, from her Persona Awakening, which is the best in the game in my opinion, right from that moment, I was like, yup, this is gonna be the romance path I take. What the hell? So that's it. Uh, Persona 5, all romance options, right. Of course, this list is extremely up to the user. I've seen comments online of having anyone, except for her, at number one. So Makoto is my go-to romance option. What is yours? Uh, comment down below. For now, I'm your host, Stay Play Entertainment. Hope you enjoyed this video. Peace out. What is up? I know what you're thinking. You're only here for the bonus Easter egg soundtrack I put in at the end of every video. But did you also know I have a donation page under Buy Me A Coffee? Donate whatever you want to my channel and I'll put half that back to an environmental charity. So that's that. Enjoy the music. Peace out.